With confusion about the next steps, mayors from across the country, including the mayor of Central Falls, will be in a Texas border city later this morning. They'll be responding to President Trump's executive order. Central Falls Mayor James Diosa, along with at least 18 other mayors, will be calling for the immediate reunification of separated families. President Trump signed an executive order to end family separations yesterday, but is not reversing his zero tolerance policy, meaning prosecution of adults crossing the border illegally will continue, but families will be detained together. It is still unclear what will happen to the more than 2,300 children who have been separated from their parents at the border. The Department of Health and Human Services said they are still awaiting guidance on that. Keeping families together while at the same time being sure that we have a very powerful, very strong border. If they're then going to be placed in detention for an indeterminate period of time, that is not a good thing. That is not a good solution. And House Republicans are expected to vote on two immigration bills later today. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.